This is ABC 7 News at 6. There's an invasion of sorts in the Bay Area and cities across the country. And if you don't hear much about it, it might have to do with the stigma associated with the problem because the invaders are bedbugs. When I went to the hospital, my arm was so swollen that I couldn't even take my jacket off. The victim didn't want us to show his face, but he was more than willing to show us the scars from the bed bugs he says attacked him at a local homeless shelter. I got them uh, around my wrist, on my belt line. We broke down beds, cleaned the beds, sanitized the beds. Housing director Drew King oversees the shelter in downtown Berkeley, which is about to spend close to $50,000 to eradicate the pest. He's also learned the shelter isn't alone. We looked at the internet and we saw bed bug task forces and places and, and just it is a, a pretty huge problem. They're kind of reddish brown, almost roach-like in appearance because they're kind of flat like a roach. The bed bugs were all but wiped out in the 1950s, but they appear to be storming back. Entomologist Bernard Lewis studies the pests in his lab at the University of California and says the banning of strong pesticides such as DDT may have let the species off the ropes. And it's also left experts struggling to control outbreaks in homes and hotels across the country. I get agencies calling me, so and it's, I've been charting this for a good three years. The tiny bugs are hard to spot until they grow bigger by feeding on the blood of their usually sleeping victims. They're not believed to spread bloodborne diseases, but they are extremely hard to eradicate. Dr. Lewis says researchers are developing a new generation of pheromone-based traps and studying other high-tech methods. One of the most environmentally friendly involves heat. Companies like Thermapure now go after bed bugs using elaborate infrared panels that turn entire rooms into a kind of convection oven. It's about 130 degrees that we're getting up to to get rid of the, the uh, bed bugs. Exterminator Nick Pandelli uses heat to kill the bugs and their eggs in clothing, bedding, even under the carpeting. And in the last few months, his crews have hit jobs around the Bay Area. Five-star hotels, homes, anywhere that you're visiting and you, they'll jump in your bag. They travel by person, person to person. They don't discriminate. They will go into the best, house, best places you can find. Back at the shelter, directors say they'll probably choose the heat method to avoid spraying pesticides in the sleeping areas. All welcome news for the residents just hoping to sleep tight and you know the rest. Now at the Berkeley shelter, exterminators began work late today using the heat treatment. As for the cost, that method in homes typically runs about $500 a room and up depending on square footage. Oh, that's pricey, but effective, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, heat them up.